The goal of the NASA Artemis mission is to establish a long-term human presence on the moon. To this end, crewed launches and landings must occur fairly frequently. During these events, the lunar regolith is kicked up. This regolith is extremely small, sharp, and fast, causing heavy damage to structures in its path. To facilitate the goals of the Artemis mission, solutions mitigating the damage caused by regolith launched by rocket plumes must be addressed. Mentored by Dr. Soon Jo Chung and JPL roboticist Mr. Kaelin Carpenter, we have developed pillars, or plume and deployed inflatable for launch and landing abrasive regolith shielding. Our team of 25 undergraduate students have effectively developed a low-mass, low-cost solution to solve this dust mitigation problem. Using only the force of a rocket plume, pillars inflates to a toroidal structure 20 meters tall, blocking lunar dust from damaging nearby infrastructure. After deploying our system on the lunar surface, it creates a permanent dust shielding solution that can be used for launch and landing on the moon. The deployment mechanism involves the manual inflation of two structural tori on the top and bottom of pillars. As a result of the inflating tori, pillars will unroll first to a folded semicircle state. With continued inflation, the pressure in the structural tori will cause the folded half of pillars to unfold, forming a full circle that is near ready for deployment. Astronauts will then attach anchors to the bottom of the structure, allowing for secure deployment and deflation. When a 100-ton lander such as SpaceX's human landing system approaches the lunar surface, pillars will inflate before the vast majority of dust can escape. After the landing is complete and the plume has stopped, the collected plume and pillars passively diffuses to the vacuum, and the structure will deflate for easy rocket access. Pillars functions analogously for the launch scenario. The incredible tensile strength of Kevlar, protected by outer layers of both UV and thermal-resistant aluminized kapton laminate, combined with the effective near-isentropic expansion of the plume into a 20,000 cubic meter bag, allow pillars to successfully contain regolith propelled by launch and landing. If funded, our team will verify the success of pillars through materials testing, which will provide an important context for life cycle and failure conditions. The pillars concept stands on the shoulders of a very complex and interesting fluid dynamics problem. In order to, to design a structure that can withstand the harsh forces of a rocket plume, we must first understand the characteristic flow of the rocket ejecta. It's unintuitive to think that an inflatable structure would be able to withstand these harsh conditions, but luckily the vacuum of the lunar environment allows the plume to dissipate quickly and cool. And if our structure is approximately 10 or 20 meters out from the rocket center, then the conditions become much friendlier. We can't predict the maximum loads or temperatures on the structure analytically due to the complexity of verified gas flows. However, we can make a good estimate with computational fluid dynamics. We plan on running computational models in tandem with physical validation. The modeling will tune the geometry of the shield for optimal dust mitigation while also ensuring the survival of the structure for many launches and landings. To simulate the rocket plume computationally, we're partnering with Sisler and Dr. Fontes, who have previously modeled rocket plumes on a lunar surface with direct simulation Monte Carlo. For physical validation, we're using a 1.2 cubic meter vacuum chamber in the Caltech Explosion Dynamics Laboratory. By implementing advice and resources from our mentors at Caltech, JPL, and industry, and through harnessing Caltech's state-of-art manufacturing and testing facilities, we are confident in our ability to successfully develop pillars. We have partnered with multiple on-campus facilities to gain access to everything from basic machining tools to a vacuum chamber for testing. Also, during the proposal process, we have solicited design reviews from a range of expertise and will continue to do so throughout the development of pillars. A Polar's low mass inflatable technology makes dust shielding on this scale uniquely feasible for early Artemis architecture. This technology has the potential to alleviate dust mitigation concerns for the Artemis base at its source and support the long term viability of the Artemis program.